Hey guys, welcome to EV Light Gaming. Uh, as you can see, today we have a War of the Spark booster box to open up. Uh, so let's get right to it. We uh, are opening up this pretty late. Uh, set released a couple weeks ago. Uh, I, I did order a box a little late and um, it, on, on top of that, it took, it took a while for it to get here. Um, but it's here now, so let's see if we can't open up some packs. Um, I know it's, it's been a while since we've done this. Uh, I did actually, uh, so let's see, let's go. So, Evolution Sage, Flux Channeler, Teo, and Finale of Glory for our first Mythic opened up. Uh, that's a pretty good one. So that's a, a good way to start the box off. Um, yeah, so I did actually open up a uh, Ravnica Allegiance box. Let's see. So we got Gideon's Triumph. Neoform. It's a solid one. Narset. It's a shame it's not a uh, Japanese foil. <laughs> Uh, widespread brutality, and then we got our assassin in planes. Um, yeah, so I actually I ordered a Ravnica Allegiance uh, Mythic Edition, uh, and we did open that up. and And unfortunately, at the time that I opened it up, I, it seemed to go very poorly. We only had, I think, two or three mythics in it, um, and at the time they were very poor mythics. One of those being, uh, we got plane wide celebration. One of those being uh, the Arclight Phoenix. Uh, and as you no doubt know now, uh, it's one of the more expensive cards in the set. So it's a shame that uh, I wasn't able to put it up there. But it's the way that things worked out. So hopefully we can make up for it here. Enter the God Eternals. Uh, so far some, some pretty sweet stuff. I was part of the original, um, or not the original necessarily, but I was part of part of the group that did order uh, Silent Submersible, that did order a uh, War of the Spark Mythic Edition, and then had it canceled, and it was a pretty pretty big mess. Uh, it'd be pretty hard to to miss if you if you are paying attention to. Uh, what's going on in Magic, but uh, looking forward to getting the foil uncut sheet in. I've always wanted a uh, an uncut sheet, not even necessarily a foil one, but I think that this one will be a really nice one to have. Foil Bloom Hulk and a Krenko. Just said... Um, so that's done pretty well so far. Seems to have a, a lot of big uh, commander cards, and then uh, Modern has had some a, a decent amount of, of good hits. Uh, I'm not so sure about Legacy, and then obviously you've got the even more Eternal set or the even more Eternal format and Vintage. Um, and I am not sure how those have been hit, if at all, from the set. But Standard seems to uh, really enjoy the Planeswalkers. Uh, a lot of fun. Emergence Zone. Liana's Triumph. Tybalt. Narset's Reversal. I think right now, uh, Modern Horizons spoilers going on. There's um, early there was a lot of a lot of good hits in, in Mythic, and then it seemed to kind of cool off a little bit. Finale of Eternity. So we're just going all out with the finales. Hopefully, this is not the final booster box, but um, yeah. Uh, there were a lot of hits in, in both rare and mythic early for 
uh, well, I've gone blank. I just said it. Um, Modern Horizons. Sorry. Uh, and then it seemed like a lot of the mythics, uh, or several of the mythics, ended up being being misses towards the end, or, or towards where we are currently with, I think the most recent being Sword of, of Truth and Justice, and then uh, prior to that was the, the new Mox. And both of those don't seem particularly great. A Nyssa and a Foil to Fairy. That's sweet. Nice. So for our Foil uh, Rare, we got to Fairy Time Raveler, who... Uh, is is seeing some play, so that's really nice. So far, this I think we're we're a little over halfway, and this I would say is, has been pretty pretty good. Um, well, seriously, so another finale. So we got finale of Revelation this time. So we've got the three finales. Uh, no, none of the mythic. Uh, Planeswalkers yet. I think the the main one that we would want to see being uh, a foil divine arrow, being the Liliana. But yeah, we uh, we definitely hit the the juice so far. Hopefully, it can kind of keep up, even to a to a small degree. I'd be interested to see what uh, non-standard players th think of this set overall, um, and then maybe maybe older players. Um, a lot of older players, I guess. I guess a chunk of them have gotten out of the game now. Elders fell that solid, uh, but the older players that did not enjoy the introduction of Planeswalkers into Magic, uh, it'd be interesting to see. I mean, I I think the, the safe guess would be that they're not a fan. Oh, sweet. Karn, the great creator. Another good rare. Uh, not a fan of a Planeswalker set, but I think someone who is a, a fan of, of Super, Wal Super Friends decks myself, um, is, was really happy to see them do this. Right. So I think uh, I think I I will do a, a quick recap in the end. I think the oh wow! So this is this has been a uh, a pretty nice box so far. Uh, I would definitely. Put this up there. Uh, this is what I would hope for uh, going into it. What, what we've gotten so far is, I would say, uh, maybe maybe not necessarily a home run, but that would be asking for a lot. So, oh, wow! So we got two foil rares. Very nice. Uh, and I, I know that it's it's a little dark in here, but um, that foil looks really nice for some reason. There's something about that. Foil Krenko that looks real smooth. Um, okay, so at this point, yeah, I think everything else is just kind of gravy. Um, and we have, wow, okay. Yeah, this is, uh, this is definitely a very good box. Uh, I would say it makes up for, for the uh, previous Mythic Edition box. I, um... As somebody who really, as far as videos go, only does, uh, oh cool, Tulsimir, that's a, oh, this, I would like to have more of these foil uh, Planeswalkers, even the, even the uncommon ones, uh, I think it's very cool looking. Um, as someone who does, you know, most really only openings, uh, I don't watch a ton of the same openings I'll watch uh, normally sets prior to when I open these. Jace, Wielder of Mysteries. Uh, to kind of understand what, what people are pulling for the most part, but I have not watched very many of the Mythic Edition openings. 
I know with there only being 24 packs, I'd be interested to see how uh, how the packs themselves go on average. Storev. Uh, with with the, the only one that, that I've bought to this point being uh, not incredible uh, by, I think, pretty easy standards. Chandra, Fire Artisan. But, uh, yeah, this, this definitely makes up for it. Um, also, off-camera prior to this, <clears throat> excuse me, I, I, I did not record it, but um, I did open I, one of each of the Planeswalker decks, and then, wow, is that, I think it's our second one, maybe? See, we got blue, black, red, white. So, oh my gosh. So, we have four of the five finales. That's awesome. Um, but, yeah, I, I did open up uh, some of the Planeswalker decks and then a, uh, a fat pack or a, I forget exactly what they call it now. I guess Mina. But, um... It, you, you didn't miss anything. Those were pretty poor openings. Uh, I don't think I got a single mythic. However, there was... <coughs> excuse me. Uh, there was a pack where we we got um, a Ugin. And as well as in the same pack, we actually got a foil Ugin. All right, we have a foil uh, with, a, I think, two foil rares. We're, we're due for a foil common. Or, or uncommon, devouring hellion. But uh, so, so that was nice. It, it wasn't a mythic, which there's just something to me about that orange symbol that um, makes it really exciting. But uh, Ugin is a great card, seen a lot of play, and then to, to both open a regular and a foil uh, in the, in the same pack, no less, was was exciting. But outside of that. Uh, I think another Karn uh, was in the fat pack, and then there really was just not not much there. So I think it turns out for the better. Awakening of the V2 Ghazi turns out better uh, to not waste waste any time with what are pretty subpar openings. Let's see. So we do not have the green finale. I think that's the the worst one of them. Uh, so we're not. Crying too too hard about that. Kaya, an oath of Kaya, and the Heary Stoneblades. We've got three packs left. Uh, so no Liliana, and frankly, at this point, I think we, like I said, we'll do a recap real quick. But with what we've opened so far, would a Liliana would be asking uh, a awful lot. But you know, we we can always keep our hopes up. And a spark double. All right, so two more. Let's see. So we got Gideon, we got Teferi. I think we got the foil Teferi. So we're gonna say that, that he's our, our lucky charm. I think we, we got a two Teferis total. Okay. So cure and a green plain wide celebration again. All right. The so last one. Whoops. Let's try not to expose it too soon. So we have a Cyclops Electromancer Interplanar Beacon in our set, and it's black. Oh, a Massacre Girl. Still sweet. A super uh, fun commander card, if that's what you want to call it. But, um, okay, so let me uh, kind of pull out some of the better stuff, and then we'll do a quick wrap up, wrap, wrap up. Okay, so we're back. Just for a quick wrap up, we got, as far as Mythics go, we got Nicol Bolas, Finale of Glory, Finale of Revelation, Finale of Promise, Finale of Eternity, 
And then for our rares, kind of our more notable rares, we got uh, one Karn and then a foil and a non-foil to fairy. Uh, we did get uh, Jace, uh, Chandra, Soren, as far as the rare Planeswalkers go, but but yeah, overall, um, no Liliana, so no, not the biggest hitter, but a lot of of close third, forward, fourth, fifths, whatnot. Um, and, a, and a five uh, mythic box is always, uh, or or normally, a pretty good box. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I definitely think that this was one of our better boxes. But um, yeah, let me know what you guys think uh, down below if uh, you want to see any changes or any have, have any suggestions. Uh, hopefully the next video will be a Modern Horizons open. Thank you guys. Have a good one.